saving Sam Bruce, and I said I'd give a mention to Yoen the kitchen fitter. <laughs> Quite right. Keep keep them working. That's the stuff. Uh, well done, Sarah. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for rattling through oh, those. That was, that was professional. Thank you. All the very best to you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Sarah Blay of Conway, North Wales. So it's Dean Gordon of Telford, Shropshire, and uh, actually in Dubai. It's simple. Ami tamake balabashi. Yeah. Ami means kind of I. Yeah. Tamake means kind of you. Yeah. Balobashi means kind of... But right. Obviously driven there by Hanscom. He stayed in his crease. Faulkner's trying to get swing. He's trying to use as much as he can. He's trying to give the ball a chance. And he's, he's pitching up here, trying to take wickets. And, and then so he should in, in this stage. But there's also an opportunity for Hanscom to score some runs as well as his crease. And mid-off there, diving to his left. So no run. Stoyness and Hanscom. Trip to Cavos. That's from Elaine in London. My name is Dotty, and you're listening to the best of the decade on One Extra. The year now is 2010, and yeah, the year gave us some dodgy tracks. Yeah, it got worse. Yes, it gave us Justin Bieber. seven times he wasn't answerable for it and couldn't help it could he excellent man not at all like you but an excellent man <laughs> no one could dispute arthur mr clennam that autism is really hard um and there's not a lot that i can do about that but one thing as a television producer as and Everyone is grateful for you. I hope you understand how much difference you have made and that we are all very thankful for that. And uh, it's very inspiring. Greta, it was watching videos about the changing world, the melting of the ice, that first got you interested. I've got five songs lined up for tomorrow. <laughs> and three of them are by me. Um, my album's going to drop in the new year, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to play us out... A great band, short-lived, but, uh, yeah, wonderful, really. This is the Libertines. Uh, I met them a couple of times many, many years ago, only a few months apart. The first time I met them, they were really sort of quite fresh-faced, ebullient, very alive, very present. I met them a few months later. They were less so. They were less so. This is Don't Look Back Into The Sun. See you tomorrow. Six. Six music. Check it out. All right. BBC. BBC Radio. This goes down. Tonight from nine, Gideon Co. Six music. At seven, Mark Riley. Right now, it's Hugh Stevens. Presents the last Monday night club of the decade, along with Chris Sutton, John Collins and Rory Smith. Lots to talk about, including that appointment to David Moyes at West Ham, the old firm derby and how football might look in 2030. This is BBC Five Live. Let's begin, though, as ever, with the latest BBC News that on Five Live. A British teenager has been found guilty of lying about being gang raped in Cyprus by 12 Israeli youths in July. The 19-year-old defences team claims she was pressured into withdrawing the allegation. Michael Polak is one of her lawyers. There was a retraction statement given 10 days after the allegation, and that was given after eight hours in a police station without a lawyer, as required on Cypriot law and European law. She didn't have translators, 
and she had a lot of pressure placed upon her to give that retraction statement. A volunteer firefighter has died in New South Wales in Australia as dangerous bushfires burn out of control across the country. Heatwave temperatures have exceeded 40 degrees Celsius in every state. Police in Spain say their investigation into the deaths of a British father and his two children in a hotel pool can be closed. They've described the tragedy on the Costa del Sol as a freak accident caused by a lack of swimming ability. Two private schools have turned down the offer of more than a million pounds to fund scholarships because it was only for white boys from poorer backgrounds. The scientist, Professor Sir Brian Thwaites, wants to leave the money in his will to Dulwich and Winchester colleges, but the schools say they don't want to put ethnic restrictions on such awards. Mark Lahane, the founder and former head of Bedford Free School, says the schools should have taken the money. I'm very nervous myself when we start looking down things on a race or ethnic line because, you know, I, I was always inspired as a young man by Martin Luther King who said we shouldn't be judged by the colour of our skin but the content of our character. Um, but I think if we, if we do have um, schemes for children of BAME backgrounds, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to do the same for, for white working class kids. And the Monty Python songwriter Neil Innes has died unexpectedly at the age of 75. He was best known for his work with the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band and the Beatles spoof The Ruttles and also collaborating with the Pythons. He wrote songs for Monty Python and the Holy Grail and he wrote How Sweet to Be an Idiot, which was his big hit. And on that note, here's Della. Thank you very much. You're swiftly done. Uh, David Moyes says his initial aim is to get West Ham away from the wrong end of the table after being appointed as manager for a second time. His long-term aim, though, he says, is to to build a strong footballing team. Alan Irvin will once again be part of Moyes' coaching team. The former Premier League referee Mark Holsey says VAR technology is not being used correctly. Holsey's told Five Live that if an offside decision is taken so long to judge, you have to go with the verdict of the on-the-field referee. Well, despite many controversial VAR decisions over the weekend, Rangers have once again called for the introduction of VAR in Scotland, saying it would be to the benefit of everyone, and in particular the referees themselves. And England's cricketers will fly to Cape Town tomorrow to prepare for the second test, which starts on Friday. That's despite opener Dom Sibley becoming the latest and 11th player in total to be struck down by sickness on the tour. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. On digital, BBC Sounds, smart speaker and online. Della, thank you very much indeed. Lindsay's here with the travel news. Hello, Lindsay. Hi, Tony. Thank you very much. Southbound side of the M6, we've got long delays at the moment. Two lanes are closed because of debris on the road. It's between Junction 10 at Walsall and 9 at Wensbury, so taking a long time if you're heading southbound on the M6. And the M11, again, on the southbound side, queues of six miles at the moment between Junction 7 at Harlow and the M25 at Junction Six. It's because of an earlier accident they have reopened the lanes, but it's taking around 45 minutes to get through. I'll have a full look at the travel for you in the next 10 minutes. Five Live is digital. On digital, BBC Sounds, smart speaker and online. This is BBC Radio Five Live. It is. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Drive. It's one of those odd, lazy days between Christmas. Is anybody actually driving around doing anything at the moment? Do let us know. Helen Scout is with me today. You know, I thought... Show to the world. Oh, yes! There is one stash which had been set on fire. MC. Oh, take D double E, that's a real OG. I said, oh, take D double E, that's a 